Welcome to the DRX Analysis Corner. Today I'll be talking about how DRX utilizes the composition of three initiators, but also how they play around the fact that they don't have a sentinel and how well they understand each other roles. We'll be closely looking at round nine from DRX versus BBL in Brazil at lock-in. And this is a very important round to understand how utility can be set up early in the round to gather info, but then play of that info and control the map. Let's take a look at the minimap, what is happening. Right now, DRX has three players in B main, one in short and one on A main. And there's a lot of utility being used right now in combination with each other. So maybe let's break it down. We'll pause it. We're gonna go to Valor Plant. We have three players, as I said, in B main. And those are two initiators, while the third one is on short. And even though they're separated, they will work as a team. Those four players right now act at, in unison. We're gonna have a fade haunt being used in the window on Ascent A main, sorry, B main, where it gathers space early on if there's a potential push towards B main. Then the KO dagger will check tiles, which is very important to understand if someone will be from BBL controlling early, mid or short from that position. Later on, then we're going to have a fade hunt that will control the space after the fade hunt fades away, just to make sure no one is pushing out into B main, which allows the jet to take this space. And at the end, there's going to be a delayed arrow landing of backside of B, uh, of B lobby to allow jet to be very certain about anyone's positioning here. Lack of any tags, lack of any kind of info about any of the uh, opposing players allowed the jet player to just stand in this position with the operator and essentially be a killjoy turret, but with a, let's say, better gun. Right, so that's how the early setup, this is just the first few seconds of the, what is very important to understand is that now, all of this utility being used on B main allows the players from DRX to rotate because they boxed in the opponents in very specific spots. Let's take a look at how this actually goes out. With um, the pink color, we're just gonna essentially mark the map where the opponents can be. The yellow spot is the zone gathered uh, by DRX. Now, DRX knows that all of the opponents will be either top mid or in the A main area. Because of that, they will be able to just rotate off fast. Fade will go through spawn towards A haven and bolster the defenses on A side because that's most likely where the opponents will be going. Sova, as a contingency plan, will go to market and his plan, I assume, was to use the Sova drone to clear mid, but unfortunately got tagged by a Dakeo Daga landing on top of the top of the market, and because of that he was not able to do it. When that happens, he goes back to switch, closes the door, and that is very important to understand right here because it's a crucial piece of information as well, being guided by a piece of the map. When he closes this door, he doesn't have to watch it. Jet doesn't have to be worried that she's gonna be flanked from market until that door is destroyed, which is an audible source of noise. So once that happens, Sova can reposition again. Because of that, he is gonna be able to go into CT and just watch the exit out of spawn. That is essentially the only way the attackers can go in into this area without destroying the doors. When that happens, Sova will be ready for it. And attackers are now boxed in, in that small area. And not only that, they will be have to uh, attack a site that is going to be bolstered with the additional player that rotated from B to... Let's take a look at the meme map again to see how this unfolds from the beginning of the round. We're going to see the players in B main taking the space. The Fate Prowler clears B main. Then the arrow lands over here and clears B lobby. Because of that, Jet stations in B with the operator. And we see the rotation happening from Fade towards A and bolsters the defenses. Now, PBL has a good idea. Oh, we need to counter um, this info gathering by DRX by posting two players still on A main and then faking a potential A push with a Sova drone and the Killjoy lockdown, which is a good idea from BBL, but the discipline from the DRX right here, what you see on the minimap, let's pause this and let's draw this, um, draw this out. Sova is stationed into spawn, where after the closing the doors, Jet is stationed in B main, and those two players are controlling so much space. We see the bolstered defenses on A, and because of that, they don't have to move. Nothing here has to be done by DRX because they have the map under control. Remember, 
DRX is playing with no Sentinel. Typically, the Sentinel utility controls the pizza area, and BBL, BBL had actually a good idea by using a defragment almost every single round to clear the pizza area here, but well, there's no utility from DRX there. So instead, they station like this with the players to control that space, right? Which is a very good idea and how to essentially supplement the lack of utility from the Sentinel with the players themselves. Very important to understand that once that BBL fake is going to happen, well, the Rx again, they don't have to move, but you're going to see a swap in uh, in uh, their own, let's say, defenses. The roles are going to swap. You see here, DRX is using a KO dagger that doesn't really have a lot of tags. Because of that, Sova repositions back to CT on B, but instantly the Fade takes his ta task. Now she is guarding the exit of spawn, and Sova instead can bolster the defenses on B, because DRX is now already anticipating a push towards B because of the lack of tags on the KO dagger. Now let's see what happens later on. Sova from BBL is going to drone into A main, and the Killjoy will, will try to sell this fake with the lockdown. Again, the good discipline for DRX kicks in. You will see that Buzz is still holding his own angle. He doesn't have to do anything else, and because of that, BBL falls into the trap. Well, basically just walk into an operator, and now, because of that early position from Buzz, which alerts DRX of the potential attack towards B, they have enough time to gather the third player that did start the round on B and rotate back from A to B and have full defenses on this side. This is a fantastic example on how to play off the map control that are gather early in the round. All of the utility has a role and well, it is a successful one in this example. Thank you for watching.